to the Men of Doozia podcast. Welcome, everyone. You know, you're probably thinking, what in the world does that even mean? Well, the word doozy, Kirk, means something that is extraordinary or outstanding of its kind, Kirk. And we, Alex, we are not that, Alex. Kirk, (laughs) but we want to be, Kirk. (laughs) That's right. And so this is the podcast that we are going to give you all the tools that you need. To help you be successful in life. And the best part is we are also going to learn how to be successful ourselves while we are also teaching you how to be successful, Kirk. (laughs) Makes sense to me, Alex. (laughs) I'm Alex Stav. (laughs) And I am Kirk Coz. Kirk, what in the bleep are we going to fucking learn today? You know, like I... (laughs) What yeah. happened there, dude? I think I said bleep, fuck. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> worst, worst. Um, exactly. Worst. Exactly. Uh, oh my gosh. What are we gonna talk about? Worst today, censorship Kirk? ever. So today, I'm really excited because I, I need it. We're gonna talk about how to get rid of a hangover. Ooh, I need that. Yeah, right. I need that. I walked into Stubbs apartment and I told you like about five minutes yeah. in. I was like, you were like, how are you doing? And I was like, I'm over yeah you know and it's it's something that happens to all of us sometimes we overdo it and that's okay yeah sometimes the hangovers last days yeah i mean when you get older when you get a little bender yeah like this dinosaur so so let me ask yeah have you ever had a hangover before (laughs) have i ever had a hangover yeah oh my yes uh so what's the worst hangover you you had or or like what is like maybe like a an occurrence that you'd like to get rid of I think the occurrence that I was <laughs> drinking too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I think w- the worst it gets is when I'm like, oh my god, I can't even show my face anywhere. I yeah. feel like such a like sloth. I feel like I'm moving slowly, and I just I just bumble around. Yeah. I like don't even leave my room. And there's probably there, there's some things that I like just forget to do. Even like yeah. Even like just like drink breathe. liquids yeah. or breathe. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like. <gasps> Exactly. <laughs> what, about, what about what about you? Do, do have you ever gotten a hangover in your uh, entire life? I, I have. Yes, I have. Well, um, do you? So sometimes yeah. it, I, I don't like getting them. Uh, I don't so think so yeah. Do. No, no, no. They're, they're not good. It's, it, it's uh, the worst is when like you get hungover and then you have to like go to like work the next day. Oh, it's the worst. Or, or see like, somebody go, or like talk to someone and like or, or something there. I've had hangovers where, like, yeah, yeah, where they're like, hey, Alex, how you doing? And I'll just kind of like stare at the person for like a couple minutes <laughs> until yeah. like my mind can like compartmentalize thoughts again. Your and, mind is yeah. catching up to your body, but and, your body's just like. Exactly. Ugh. And they're like, you okay? And I'm like, oh, I, I didn't answer the first question yet. Stop. <laughs> like, let me, let me, let me answer the first one first. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, do you find that there's maybe some things that like you end up doing when you get a hangover that like maybe uh, you shouldn't i want to do absolutely nothing i yeah. will like the the i'll wake up and i'll just try to chug water yeah and then i just eat like gross green yeah. foods. yeah that's the thing that i have to get out of it's like like the bad eating like yeah the bad eating the, just, just like pile on the most greasy thing just to feel yeah. but it, it probably isn't really you're helping. already feeling gross <laughs> it's you, why put no, something gross uh, inside yeah, you? A, a greasy burger is not gonna like <laughs> bring you down any farther than you are <laughs> exactly yeah. but we have the solution for we us have the solution. we have the solution for us and for you for you we have 10 tips yes. that we're going to give you all from credible sources descending and then to the lowest and we're just gonna we're just gonna learn we're here to learn laugh and not get, be, rid not, not get rid of a freaking hangover <laughs> also drinking more well uh, when you wake up you keep drinking That'll help, but then you'll just be drunk again, so you're not really getting rid of the hangover. Yeah. Yeah. Hair you gotta dog. sleep it off, right? Is that what it is? I well, don't know. We'll we're see. gonna find out. We are. How do I get rid of a hangover? Number 10. Boom. Okay. Drink a ton of water. Boom. Perfect. The most obvious solution, yet one of the best, is to pour yourself a tall glass of water and get to drinking. <laughs> one of the reasons you feel so headachy nauseous and lightheaded is because alcohol causes your body to lose lots of water causing dehydration drinking water throughout the day can help you to rehydrate and recover the water you've lost this can dramatically improve your headache Makes sense. okay yeah now while we've probably caught you the day after anytime you can do this before you fall asleep on a night of drinking you can lessen your hangover symptoms the next day 
Water is the elixir water of life. Water is the elixir. <laughs> water is delicious. Guys, I'm selling yeah. water to you. It's it's love, the, when you the best thing to do, I think, it, it, when you wake up from drinking too much and you have like a cup of water next to your bed and you drink it, you're like, <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. When yeah, you it, it, it's it's. it's it just, it really it opens you up. It's it, the it most weird, back. disturbing, but incredible thing yeah. when you drink water and you, you know you're hungover and it's like, you you can feel life coming back you into you. Feel like, yeah, exactly. You can, it's like, exactly. I'm alive, I'm alive. Yeah, exactly. yeah, guys, drink a ton of water. It's the elixir of yeah. life. Why are you drinking, though, the night before and someone's like, hey, drink some water. You're like, shut up. Maybe, maybe if you respond that way, you, you you should drink the water. Yeah. <laughs> but you still, you'll have to force feed me that water. Yeah. yeah. All right. And number nine. Number nine. Okay. Dr- drink water. Okay. This number nine is drink a sports drink. Okay. Isotonic okay. sports drinks like Gatorade or Powerade mm. are another great way to replace your lost fluids. Okay. These drinks contain electrolytes, which are important for you to replace when you are dehydrated. Vitamin packets or oral rehydration packets are another great thing to toss into some water for a pick-me-up. Yeah. Gatorade, Powerade. I would do that in college. I'd wake up <laughs> and we'd, and we'd what, go What to, size would you get? Would you just like get the one huge? One of those like giant gallon huge. things and, and you just go to town and they'd be like, hey, do you want uh, some of this? No. Oh, yeah. I, I've, I've done that and I finished one in like what flavor? less than. What flavor? Dude. Light blue. The light blue. The light blue. <laughs> what, what, what does it taste Delicious. like? Delicious. It, it looks tastes like, like light it, blue. It looks like an elixir. For sure. It does. Yeah. It does. Guys, a, a, everyone talks about electrolytes, and I guess what electrolytes just yeah. help you rehydrate you and stuff. We need um, electrolytes. Okay? Also, well, uh, at Burn, uh, before the pandemic, we were selling a, a, a packet called Hydrant. And it was mm. a it was a powder formula, and you can just put it in water. Those are great, too. And it's like rapid hydration. Yeah. Rapid hydration, you're just like you like really hydrated. I'm so hydrated That's right good. now, does bro. It, doesn't being hydrated help your brain and stuff too? I'm sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> tell us. You tell we us. We need to know. Great. That'd be Moving the next on. one. How to help your brain. <laughs> Number eight. Avoid caffeinated drinks. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Skipping the coffee might feel like a real challenge, especially if you're really dragging. But it will be totally worth it. Caffeinated drinks like coffee can actually make you more dehydrated and thirsty than you already are. Plus, caffeine narrows your blood vessels and raises your blood pressure. Yikes. Yikes. This can make your hangover symptoms worse. Okay. Yeah, dude. Because I've woken up and I've been like, I need coffee right now. uh And it it just, coffee just tightens your blood vessels. You want that elixir juice. You want that elixir juice to loosen you you want to get loose on the inside to get the blood flowing back around okay you want that elixir like are yeah. you picturing this are i you picturing your veins doing that do, yeah you don't want your veins all skinny and anorexic veins tight 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 like a tiger exactly. no but like, right, no caffeinated drinks this okay. is a problem i have yeah yeah avoid the ca- caffeine drinks so. caffeine and gatorade and stuff i don't think so i think i think i don't think so i think like maybe one thing but with, it's not with, i mean coffee's just pure caffeine it's, it's real and, and it's so true it, it dehydrates yeah, don't you. like drink a I red bull or something yeah i had i made this exact mistake this morning i was like i need caffeine to make my mind feel awake but yeah. it, it just is gonna exacerbate and your veins are like whoa <laughs> my veins are like i'm so skinny but <gasps> you I think i'm breathe. skinny <laughs> <laughs> All right, avoid avoid the caffeine drinks. They're not going to help you. Wait, wait Don't another do day it. or two. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Moving on, number seven tip: mm. eat some eggs. Eat them. Eggs contain an amino acid called cysteine, oh. which breaks down the toxins that make you feel crummy after drinking. <laughs> By helping cleanse your body of these leftover toxins, eggs can help you to feel rejuvenated and more energized. Avoid making your eggs with too much fat or grease if you feel nauseous, as it might exacerbate those symptoms. Dude, I was using eggs. the word exacerbate earlier. I'm like on the flow of this, this how this tip, these tips. Yeah. Dude, eggs are great. Eggs are and delicious. Easy. Yeah. That make okay, cool. So when you so you wake they're up, the, you're hungover. Eat eggs. And Gatorade, and water, and water, and power. What's the if if water is the elixir of life? What is eggs? 
the... <laughs> Come on, Alex, think of come a joke. On, come on, <laughs> think of a joke, think of a joke. The, uh, the, I don't know. Uh, I'll the, come back. I'll I don't come know, back the to bread it. of life? But bread is the bread of life. And anyways. Eggs, yeah. Eggs are... Eggs are Eggs the... are so, so easy to make. Yes. You can make them in like two minutes. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. eggs. That makes sense. You wake up, you have some water, have some Powerade. And then eat some uh, dead chicken fetuses. <laughs> Perfect. 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 I love baby fetuses. Yeah, feel baby fetuses. <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't know it had what the. Yeah. Well, I'm looking up cysteine real quick. It's a protogenic okay. amino acid. Nothing about this definition makes me oh, <laughs> informed. Oh, oh, protogenic hallucination. Oh, oh yeah, but just a, 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 a somatic reaction. Grave. What the hell? It's like, hey, here's right. a chemical table. Exactly. That's the definition. I literally. I yeah, want, uh, yeah. Enzymatic reactions as a nucleophile. Perfect. 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 I know what that means. Eat some eggs. Number six. Okay, eat eggs, drink some water. Don't drink coffee. Number six. Have bouillon. Is that how you pronounce it? Bouillon. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have it? Bouillon. <laughs> bouillon. 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 Booyah. Have Boo- some booyah, booyah soup. <laughs> some booyah soup. Have some booyah soup to restore your <laughs> vitamins and minerals. Soup is a great way to get down some nutrients when you feel too queasy to eat. Don't know what booyah soup is? It's a thin <laughs> vegetable beef or chicken-based broth that is a good source of the vitamins and minerals you need to replenish after drinking. In particular, it's perfect for replenishing the salt and potassium that you may have lost. Okay, so get some salt in the body. Get some potassium. Yeah. Booyah. Well, I, I guess... I- Bouillon. I guess any type of soup would be a booyah soup, just just that it's not too heavy. Yeah. I think what, what it said is some it's good, more some like some good beef, some vegetable broth beef, based? yeah, chicken, yeah. yeah, just broth. Have like a, little, a good broth that'll tighten up, that'll loosen up those tight veins, so they're like, ah, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. exactly. <laughs> I, I wonder if if when you when I think of potassium, I think of. Uh, and the chemical table, potassium is K. Okay. And it's, uh, there's a lot of that in bananas. Okay. Yeah, you eat a lot of bananas. <laughs> I do. I don't yeah. know why. Every single time I'm here, I have a banana. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, yeah. <laughs> banana break. Yeah. And he peels it, and then he'll, like, lick the tip a little bit, and then, <laughs> oh like, he'll. God. <laughs> <laughs> potassium. Number five. Soup. Okay, Number eat five. Some soup. That'll help you. Number five. Eat. Foods rich in potassium. Oh, this is exactly what we were just talking about. Wow, look at that. Ever notice how often you have to pee when you drink? Yeah. It turns out that when you pee so much, you lose more potassium than normal. I didn't know this. Those lowered potassium levels can contribute to tiredness, nausea, and weak limbs. Weak limbs. All symptoms you might be feeling right now. Ooh, I can't even I, stand I them. definitely feel <laughs> nauseous. Luckily, you probably have some cheap ways to tackle this already waiting in your kitchen. Bananas. Like booyah soup. <laughs> well, you know, if you if you effectively learned how to grocery shop, you'll have you'll have known. Ooh. That's right. Ooh, uh, that's make, right. For instance, bananas and set you up for success, dude. dude fuck okay. yeah! High five, man. That's it, dude. Bananas and kiwi fruits. Mm. The men of doozy love our kiwis. And you're gonna get a six pack. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, as well as baked potatoes, leafy greens, yeah. mushrooms, and dried apricots are all good potassium sources. This is actually really apricots? good to know. Apricots. 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 Booyah. 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 This is good to know. Food. I didn't know that, like... Uh, th- apricots? Apricots. Who gives a... Sh- who, g- who... Yeah. <laughs> no, that, those, uh, it already gave you examples. That's good. And so that's- potassium. So focus on your potassium. So you gotta... You gotta just bring those potassium levels up in general. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and those are easy, okay. affordable things to okay. buy and make. Yeah. Or snack on. Yeah. When bring you, when bring you got that, that potassium hangover. level up and, and you'll be less nauseous, weak-limbed. Non weak limbed. Non weak. <laughs> non weak limbed. Perfect. Stumbling all over the place. Stumbling all over the place with all your right. weak ass, with your weak <laughs> ass <laughs> limbs. Weak ass limbs. You, you Get your weak level. limbs out of here! How dare you! You you you, you need some you, elixir of life, you, brother. You tight veined, weak limbed. <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> Number four. Number four. Number four, number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Booyah. 
Eat bland foods like toast and crackers. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Alcohol causes low blood sugar. Okay. Okay. Which might make you feel too tired to eat. If you're feeling tired and nauseous and boneless and weak limblessness, flavorless foods might be your best option. <laughs> Complex high carbohydrates. <clears throat> Like oatmeal or whole grain bread are also a good choice if you think your stomach can take it. Hmm. Remember, the point of eating to tackle a hangover is not to absorb the alcohol, oh. but to boost your blood sugar and replenish your nutrients. Because the alcohol that is, already did the damage. <laughs> they already you, came you in. You just you gotta build up, the, up those your house. walls. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're the, like, "Fuck you, yeah, hey, exactly. hey, babe." They strangled your veins. Literally the Kool-Aid man that just keeps bursting <laughs> through your living room. <laughs> Booyah! And then leaves, and then you got to like, oh, I need potassium, I need this, I need some electrolytes, I need elixirs. You build up the wall again. Booyah! Yeah, the Kool-Aid man sees you doing all these he things. He says, oh, yeah, but... I, 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 no, I, but he, he sees you doing all this stuff. If you do all these steps, he'll be on the racks in the liquor store saying, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Bulo. Yeah, dude, that's a popular saying. Absorb the alcohol. I need so many something in my body. To she ate a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> Why? <laughs> she was trying to absorb the alcohol. No, nope. in her bloodstream. I understand. I'm just picturing <laughs> the bread goes in. They're like, all right, let's do this. They just they're just soaking up all the alcohol. Now the alcohol's in your stomach. No, now the bread's in your stomach, <laughs> and the bread absorbed the alcohol. Now the bread's like, how do we get out of here with all this? Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. How, you're st- that's the stupid. Absorb makes it's no stupid. sense. If it's absorbing, yeah. it would be like still in your body. And yeah, you're exactly. like, how the fuck do I get out of here? I'm not drunk anymore. <laughs> the bread took all the alcohol. Yeah. You know what? Eat bland foods now like I'm toast absorbing and absorbing the bread. And the bread is riddled with alcohol. So now I'm twice as drunk. Are you it, following this? I, I, I am okay, for the great. most part. Yeah. Great, fantastic. You already feel like a, a shell of a human. Might as well eat boring food but know that they help i guess <laughs> yeah and who doesn't like toast and crackers in yeah. your booyah soup in your booyah dipping that, that toast and crackers in the booyah soup toast and crackers in the booyah soup i love it <laughs> all right moving on ladies and gentlemen we're in the top three the oh. third what the oh my god booyah sorry my veins just got a little tight there <laughs> oh Whew. oh yeah okay. <laughs> all right guys the third uh, top tip is take an easy walk. Mm. If you can, try to get out of the house and take a walk. Take a walk. Or crawl. Or crawl if you're a baby with abs. Yeah. You're a baby <laughs> a with abs. brisk walk can help speed up your metabolism and the clearance of alcohol from your system. You also might be able to increase the rate that alcohol toxins are broken down in your body by increasing your oxygen levels. Overall, mm. a huge win. Mm. This makes sense, dude. Sweat it out. Sweat it out? Sweat it out. Well, well, I think also it's just like being outside, being ar- around, I don't know, taking a nice walk, getting fresh air helps yeah, you Yeah, it the does time. help. But if you're really hungover and you like can't move or walk and you're like, oh, God, I got to go, on, I gotta yeah. go on a hike now, like that <laughs> like that would be – like that's not good. Oh, my God. I just got drafted yeah. to the soccer team. Oh I don't know if I can do this. Oh, my God. I got a whole soccer oh game. My, what? Oh, my God. I feel wicked awful. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, guys, okay. if you feel up to it, get get out of your bed or get out of your room and just take a nice little, get some fresh air. Yeah, and do yeah. this even if you're not hungover, you lazy, <laughs> weak lazy. Go outside. Tight veined. <laughs> Low potassium <Egg>. level. <laughs> Egg eating. Egg eating. Elixir sucking. <laughs> Those are all compliments. Yes, yeah, so those are all compliments. <laughs> those are all compliments. It was the guys. tone, the tone of voice was a little different. Okay. <laughs> Number two, 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 mm. two, two, two. Yes. Number two. <laughs> Be wary of miracle cures, like elixirs. Okay. <laughs> Anytime <laughs> someone promises you a miracle cure, they are likely overpromising. <laughs> like most things in life, hangovers don't have one easy cure-all solution. While hangover pills claim to be able to tack all your hangover symptoms at once, scientific studies have concluded that their effectiveness is at best limited. Have you ever... You... <laughs> you dirty lying... 
I bought hangover pills from this guy. You have? Yeah. yeah I was going to ask. Have you ever done like And a he was pill? very hungover. And he was like, these work. Like, <laughs> Makes sense. And He's I like, was like, I, I, I just took it because I was hungover. So you're the spitting image of, exactly. of this product. Exactly. Have you? Yeah, so you've used them? How no, ever? I haven't. No, you I haven't. haven't. All the, see, for me, I think all that stuff is like, like stupid. Woo-woo. Right. Yeah. You, you, they're in the back of the behind the deli right and they're like hangover pills in like a uh in like the same packaging as like a, a lego box or whatever like a lego <laughs> set or legos? whatever yeah we're buying legos for the hangover pills or something yeah they they i don't they, they won't work yeah, yeah yeah let us know or what comment. is in that pill also yeah also like what could possibly be in that pill that would just be like whoop you know I'm if, good. if you had a pill with potassium oh bula soup <laughs> Love, kindness. Uh, these these small little teeny tines, tiny hands. Bread that absorbs. These small little teeny tiny hands that give your veins a, a massage yeah. to let them open yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> on the inside. Come on now. Come on now. Come open on. up. Open up. <laughs> it's getting weird. Yeah, this really is. Um, Be wary of miracle cures. Yeah. Don't get scammed. And let us know if you have ever had an experience with a, a miracle cure for a hangover it seems so weird like yeah. have you actually taken one what was your experience that it's and where did you get like, it yeah and who gave it to you hopefully not in the dark alley yeah, right <laughs> hey kid you want some hangover pills boy do i <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it was viagra we, okay yeah we, it was viagra, yeah, the, whole viagra time. the whole time <laughs> the blood just still hung over but pain. what an erection <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached it. The top tip. Woo! Woo! Booyah! Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! What's the number one tip, Kirk? The number one tip to get rid of your hangover, go back to bed if you can. Oh. Just get back in bed. Duh. This might be your first instinct anyway, and it's a good one. The kind of sleep you get right after drinking may involve less of the REM sleep. Rapid eye movement uh, stage of sleep. This is the part of sleep that actually makes you feel rested. So it's natural that your body and brain want a little more rest. In the end, the most surefire cure for your hangover is time. So if you can kill a little bit of that time sleeping, all the better. Dude, I was supposed to be here at 11 a.m. I got here at 1.30. And it was because, like, oh, my God, I needed sleep. Yeah, sleep is 100%. If I... I've found that if I go out drinking, right, and I, and I wake up and I'm like, no, my body's like, nah, go back to bed. Uh-huh. I'll sleep. Uh-huh. And then when I wake up later, I'm like at max capacity. I'm like, I feel great. A brand new human being. I feel great. You got to shed that skin. Sleep in, people, when you yeah, drink. Yeah, for real. And my- if you can't sleep in, then don't drink as much, dummy. My- I grew up and. My my mom would would you grew always up. pre. I grew up. I did. I did it. <laughs> I grew How up. to be an adult? I guess I'm still trying I grew to grow up. up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I grew up once. I and, grew up. Uh, one, listen, I know what I'm talking about. I grew up once, uh-huh. but um, uh, yes. my mom would preach like sleep is the best healer, and it really is. You can sleep off a lot of stuff. She was hungover all <laughs> the time. <laughs> She was hungover all the time, Kirk. <laughs> she lost so and many jobs. You're walking around with your little blanket, and you're like, well, how, "What should I do, Mom?" She's like, "Go back to She's, bed." Hey, Kirk, go to, she was making go you sleep bed. longer so that she could sleep longer. Didn't have to deal with you. The oh truth, my God! The truth comes out. My my life is shattered. Him. We just messed him up. <laughs> I'm going to have another episode. Yeah, get your mom on the phone. It's true, Kirk. <laughs> You're a lot to handle very early, and I was always drunk. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Woo! We got Booyah. rid of the hangover. I mean, we're, st- we're still... We got rid of the hangover. But you guys now have all the tips that you need. Was there one that, like, you really... I really mean, liked. go back, go back to sleep. I think that's the number yeah. one for sure. Go, yeah. back, go back to sleep, rest your body, and then your body will be like, okay, where I'm back in the game. I think I think unanimously. <laughs> <laughs> I feel great, and then start drinking again. <laughs> yeah, it's like immediately. I'm bored. Just yeah. just start pounding a exactly. six pack. Yeah. Uh, but the eggs thing I didn't know about. Yeah, I think eat eggs. I think okay, and I th- no coffee. So no now coffee. I know that no coffee yeah. the next day will, will, will help me. As much as I like need to feel awake or want to be awake, 
like nixing that. And also, I think just uh, a lot of the um, the the examples of food, but like eggs, like one hundred percent. I just gotta make eggs every yeah. every morning, every day, I, every day forever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And when I grow up. I'm going to have more electrolytes, for sure. For sure. Well, guys, hey, that, thank you for watching the Men of Doozy podcast. We're out of time, Kirk. We are. It's we over. are. We did it. It's you guys got to gotta go get healthy, get get rid of your hangovers. Listen, comment what your favorite tip was um, on these videos. Yeah. Do you have any tips? Yeah. You got any tips? Let us know um, if there is something mm. that you want to learn when, while we also don't teach mind, you don't, while he's hung over right now. Don't he's very hung over right now. Do not mind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share the share, comment, subscribe, everything. We're, Spotify, we're on Spotify, Apple YouTube? Podcast, YouTube, Apple. And the best way for us to grow and to help one another is is share. Let share us know. It. Engage with us. Hell yeah. Let us know. Instagram. We on the gram, baby. We on the gram, baby. Let yeah. us know what you like. Let us know what. What was your worst is... hungover? Did you do anything? Yeah, give us stories. Where's the worst place you've like woken up hungover? <laughs> oh, jail? Ooh. Who knows? <laughs> jail? Who knows? Jail? Well, hey, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. I'm gonna go back to. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some eggs. Go make some eggs. I'm gonna go back. Exactly. I'm gonna have some booyah soup and go back to sleep. Everybody, <laughs> we'll see you next episode. Thanks so much. Drink your water and fluids. Drink them. <laughs> <laughs>